What up, peeps? Mr. Bones back at you, and welcome back to another Dollar Tree Theater. We're going to be talking about yummy human flesh, never tasted so good. Directed by Lars Damose, something like that. Written by Lars Damose and Evelyn Hagenbeek. Stars Mike Newville, Bart Hollanders, and Benjamin Ramon. IMDb says an orgy of blood, violence, and fun in which a young couple travel to a shabby Eastern European hospital for plastic surgery. Once there, things unravel. Back says, while waiting for his girlfriend to come out of surgery, Michael stumbles upon a terrified young woman gagged and strapped to an operating table. She is the result of an experimental rejuvenation treatment offering to help her escape. He removes her restraints, but soon realizes he's just unleashed a virus that will turn the entire hospital into bloodthirsty zombies. This movie is about Allison and Michael and Allison's mother Sylvia. They all travel to this hospital to get stuff done. Allison wants a breast reduction because she has big tits and they're hurting her back apparently. And the mother wants to have something done. I don't remember what. And while he's waiting for her, this... Uh, Shady uh, custodian or something, a male nurse or something, takes him to chill out. It says, I'll give you a tour of the hospital. And they go, he takes him down in a basement area while he's stealing medicine and swallowing it. Michael goes to another room where he hears, like, gagging sounds and, and someone being restrained. And sees this woman here who's uh, strapped to a bed or, like, a gurney. And decides to take her mask off. And then he gets freaked out when he sees she's like a zombie. He runs off and she breaks loose from her restraints. And you know the recipe for zombie movies. She bites someone. They become a zombie. They bite someone. Repeat. And this is a crazy ass movie. High speed crazy zombies. Crazy uh, gore and gross out horror. Like a... Uh, I heard in Danny B's review he compared it to Dead Alive, which was uh, pretty accurate. Gross out stuff in it. Uh, there's this one scene where the girl runs into a room where a doctor's like doing liposuction, sucking fat out of someone, and a zombie comes in and attacks him, and the switch gets hit and knocks it in reverse, and it starts pumping the fat back in the person and blows them up, and it splatters all over the window of the door and stuff. And then there's this other crazy scene where a guy was there to get a penis enlargement. And him and this young girl are hiding in the kitchen. And then she decides to come on to him and like, you know, start talking about I don't want to die a virgin and, and yada yada. And he's like, well, I really shouldn't. And he shows her the bandages. And he says, but for you, I'll try. And... Then he goes over to, he says, let me clean it off first. And he goes over to the sink and turns on the hot water and accidentally burns itself. And then she just reaches him a random tube that she thinks is like an ointment for burns, which turns out to be, I don't know what it was, like glue or something. It's like burning his cock. And he's screaming, it's burning, it's burning. And so she sprays him with a damn uh, fire extinguisher, which like froze his cock. And then the tip of his dick falls off. It's fucking crazy. And so, yeah, that's what kind of movie this is. And, like I said, uh, 
You got them two crazy gross out moments and you got crazy high speed zombies chasing people and turning them and then you got like a group of five survival type people trying to survive by the end of the movie. Of course I'm not going to tell you if any of them survive. You'll have to check it out yourself. This was a pretty kick ass movie. I recommend you check it out. That's what I watched. Peace.